Hey, what is going on everyone? It's Jack from The Modern Coder, and on this coding tip of the day, I'm gonna show you how to add fuzzy finding right to your terminal with FZF. All right, so if you know about Sublime's Control P, Google's Autocomplete Search, or OSX Spotlight Search, this is essentially what FCF gives you right in your command line. So with a hotkey, you can just search and autocomplete things like files and folders within a directory, anything from your command history, SSH host names, and a lot more. So let me get started by quickly showing you how to install and configure it, and then I'll jump in and demonstrate some of the really cool and indispensable features that this program has to offer. So the documentation specifies instructions for installing FCF on a variety of platforms, but I'll just show you the most generic way that should work for most Unix-like systems. So first I'll clone the repository, and in this case, I'll just download the repo into .fcf like the documentation recommends. So once those files are finished downloading, you can run the installer. So let me get that command right now. So the installer will ask you if you want auto completion and key bindings, and I would recommend that you say yes to both of those things. And then it'll also ask you if it should update your shell configs, and I would also say yes to that. So before I go ahead and reload my ZSHRC file, which it recommends, let's go in and take a look at it. So if I just open it up on Vim here, and go down to the bottom. You can see it's added this command. Basically, if this FCF source, if the FCF file exists, source it. While we're here, I like to tell FCF to use their extended regex matchers, and I'll explain that later. But for now, we can just add that, add this line here to the bottom. Um, save and reload our source. So now that we have everything reloaded, we should be good to go. Now, there are a few main key bindings that we can use. The first one is control R, which will allow us to search back through our command history. So most Unix like prompts already have this command R functionality, but FCF really amps it up a notch and gives you the ability to cycle through your previous commands and then also start typing to narrow down any, any narrow down the list to any of the commands you might have entered before. So then is my personal favorite, which is control T, which does a fuzzy find through your current directory and let me just go to a website directory I have. And if I hit control T and start typing any part of my file name, and the list will quickly narrow down. Then all I have to do is use the arrow keys to cycle through any of the options, hit enter, and it auto completes right to the command line. Now, if I want to select more than one file, so say if I want to remove a couple files, I can just type RM control T and then use the tab command or the tab key to go ahead and select any any number of files hit enter and both of those are auto completed to the command line. So let's go a bit further. Remember that dash dash extended command that we added. So this gives us the ability to say now I want to select all files that end with a certain extension. And if I wanted to find all CSS files, for example, I can just type control T dot CSS and then dollar sign and this will go ahead and bring up any files that end in dot CSS and there are more matches that you can use here and I encourage you to check out the FCF documentation on github which is linked below so great those are the basics now FCF can go farther than that and do more than just the control T control our use cases it can also smartly autocomplete based on the context of your current command which is pretty cool so what I mean by that is say I want to see any of the directories which I can navigate to with CD. So if I type CD double asterisk and double asterisk is the trigger command and then hit tab, I now have a list of directories underneath my current directory that I could possibly CD into. And the syntax works for other things too. Like say you had a lot of hosts defined in your SSH config file, you can autocomplete them with the asterisk syntax simply by typing SSH double asterisk tab. And now I can just scroll through a list of my available hosts. Finally, one of my favorite use cases for FCF comes when you override the default search command with one that respects gitignore. So by default, FCF is using the Unix find command under the hood. But if I open up my ZSHRC file, go down to the bottom here, I can go ahead and set the default command that FCF is using to anything I want. So in this case, I'm going to set it to FD. And FD is a third party find command that ignores files specified by gitignore. So if I override that, save this file, and reload, if I'm in a git track directory like this one, and I want to add some files to a commit, I'll just type git add 
control T. And now I can go down the list and pick out the files I want to add to the commit without dealing with, in this case, any of the files specified under my temp directory, which is just a bunch of cache files that I had ignored by git ignore. So I think that's about it. There are more things FCF can do, so be sure to check out their documentation on GitHub. And as always, if you have a question about anything I went over, please let me know in the comments section and I'll try my best to answer. Leave a like if you found this video helpful. And if you have a suggestion for the next coding tip of the day, also leave it in the comments. I'd love to hear it. Um, I think that's it. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.